Welcome to the last lesson of this module. This is going to be a short lesson, I hope, and I just wanted to show you what the Power BI Requirements Gathering Framework looks like. I just want to remind you that we will have a module later on just for the Requirements Gathering Framework where we will be using it for our use case. So we will be working with it again, don't worry, as you can see now, the Requirements Gathering Framework is also divided into two segments, or actually three segments, where the first one is for Requirements Gathering and the second one is for the User Journeys. We also have a third one for Information Architecture. The idea for the Requirements Gathering Framework is to help you guiding the conversation with your customer or with your stakeholders or with your focus group. If we have another look at this sheet, we can see that we have the main key points of the requirements gathering framework, which are determining the business goals and pain points, identifying your audience and report type, defining UI requirements and defining again the user journeys. In each one of these sections, we, we have a list of the questions that you should be asking your stakeholders. Like I mentioned before, this um, sheet is focused on requirements gathering. We will not be looking at the user journeys sheet just yet because we will have a module and lessons for that later. So. Here we have summarized all the questions that you should be asking when having the requirements gathering sessions. For each one of the main key points, the three main key points of the first stage of the requirements gathering, you have multiple questions that will help you again guide the conversation. Like they are divided into things like the company and the industry overview, the team and stakeholders role overview, business needs or problem statement, the business and impact or the business impact or value that your solution will have. So you have here all the questions that you should be asking and you, sh you should notice also that it, there are a few marked in red and you have here something saying actions and some other thing saying goals. This is here because this is the things that you will be using later on to help you define user journeys. This is why I mark this as red as important because these are the things that you will definitely need in the user journey sessions to help you guide those conversations and to help you figure out the user journeys for your reporting solution. So in terms of user journeys, these are the most important things that you should be focusing on, which is the business needs and the problem statement, which will define the actions that will come out of your report or, or you will find out what kind of actions your report will drive or we'll try to drive at least. And then you have the business goals or the impact and value that this solution will bring, which is also important to define the user journeys, mainly this main question here, which again, you should really explore deeply with your focus group, with your stakeholders, with your end users. Pay attention to all the things marked in red because you will be using that for the user journeys and Hopefully this will be very straightforward for you to use this uh, you, like requirements gathering framework. It's just again following the questions and making sure that you really try to understand the why and not the what if you remember what I said in the previous lessons. So ask questions like can you give me a company, uh, an overview of your company and the business it, it operates in? Can you give me an overview of your company overall strategy here? Again, you're trying to find out how does the report fit in that strategy? And also you go deep down to the team level where you understand the team, the roles in that team and the, the, the goals for, for that team. What are the team's processes like and how does the reporting solution fit into all of that? And then you dive deep into the business needs or the problem statement and the actions that this report is going to drive or try to drive. So we are going to try and figure out why does the business need this report? What kind of decisions will this report help the team or the business make? And what kind of actions would this report drive or what kind of actions with that team or the users using this report take um, based on the insights that this is giving them? And lastly, of course, the impact that this solution will bring. And I have here a few examples of questions that you might ask here. You have examples like if the answer is the ability to get information to from various points of view, then 
that is an example here and the focus here is to always be on the why do you want this and really try to dig deeper into why this solution will have this impact so always remember on focusing on why that report solution exists or should exist and not on the what and then you have also, I forgot to mention this one, which is the audience and report type, which is also important for the user journey section. So it's if I go up, what's the most important is the business needs or problem statement, which will define your actions and then the business impact or value, which will define your goals. And then lastly, the uh, audience and report type or your personas, which identifies the person and report type that you are going to be building. So all things that are very important for report design and especially again for user journeys so in this section here you will ask who is the audience for this reporting solutions and you will ask your stakeholders to give you examples you will understand what's the granularity of the reports and how far back in time do people need to see data in that report so lastly defining ui requirements which is also very important for design it's not going to be used necessarily for the user journeys or not at all it's not going to be used for the user journeys but also here a few questions that will help you uh, speed up the process in terms of building that branding identity in your reporting solution so again this requirements gathering framework was built to be very easy to use and just to help you ask the right questions because i had this question a lot like or this comment a lot uh, with people saying i don't know what to ask to get the information i need to make sure that my report is answering the right question so here it is you now have this framework which will really really help you understand that understand how or why are you building that report and understand and make you make it easier for you to make sure that your report will answer the right business questions. So please use this framework and in the next module we will talk a lot more about user journeys and also the framework for user journeys. So I'll see you in the next one.